Hey, what up? This is Marker. So today we're going to be talking about goals and forms. It's a type form block survey questions called formly, formlu, uh, alternative. Uh, those are the ones that I have reviewed in my channel. But before I dive into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So let's jump in, right? So the plan that I have for goals and forms right here is the unlimited form uh, plan. This is great so that you can use it as a um, you can use it as a like a standard contact form as well on your website right and uh, the cool thing also with goals and forms is you can have it uh, uh, they do have uh, stripe integration so you can collect payment they also have uh, api that uh, uh, they also have a uh, api uh, but i don't think they are natively integrated with any of the integration platform as of now right uh, but uh, Gozen Forms does have some nifty features that I will point out, but uh, let's jump in right now. So, um, the we will go into the settings right here. So, you can actually have uh, custom domain as well. So, you can see Stripe and uh, API key over here, right? And then you can, you know, uh, it looks like they do have a WordPress plugin, right? So, this is good. Um, because with a WordPress uh, plugin, then I guess it makes it easier for you to embed your forms. Okay, so they do have a WordPress plugin. Uh, I I think that makes it uh, a lot more interesting. Okay, and they do have um, a bunch of integration as well, including Vbout right here, Clavio, Zapier, okay, webhooks and all that. Okay, so we're going to jump into uh, goals and forms. Uh, we're going to create, uh, we're going to check out some of the templates first. So they do have quite a few templates right here that covers quite a bit of uh, use cases. So if you want to put up a form quickly, you know, it. This these are uh, great ideas for you to, uh, you know, get going, right? So this is like a resume form submission right here. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So we got to create one from scratch right now. And so we're going to jump into the settings first. So you can turn off branding if you have the necessary plan. Uh, progress bar, you can turn that off as well. And uh, you can choose between a classic form or a slides form, which is what they call as a uh, uh, conversational forms and also the last one is custom which I do uh, find it very interesting we are going to check that out very shortly so the custom form is quite interesting and uh, I will jump into it uh, very shortly as well but for most of the features that you want uh, you, you might want to use the slides feature I'll show you what are the differences right uh, very shortly and uh, you can schedule your forms you can uh, have it start on a certain date and on a certain date uh, limit responses that means you only want to collect let's say 100 response you can do that you can also allow multiple submissions as well and you can choose between different teams these are the ones that they have or you can create your own right here okay so if you don't want uh so so you can choose uh your, you can create your own teams as well so we're going to jump in right now uh to the slides one first right so uh so you can put your your welcome text you can put in uh your description and uh whatever right so let's put a so what i'm going to try right now is to insert um insert a background image okay it's being applied right now so it's a little bit buggy right here for some reason let's try this it says like invalid but this is the gallery that they actually provide me with okay so i guess not all the images work okay maybe we'll just use this for now let's make it uh 
Let's make this black so that's easier to read. Okay, so let's try the next slide right here. Okay, and let's see. Okay, I do see a problem with. Uh, okay. I do see a problem with, uh, I mean, lack of customizability right here, which is the background uh, image. Okay, so let's say I switch to this one. How about this. Okay, so I guess it gets a little bit buggy. Okay, so you can only choose one background image for the entire um, form experience, right? So that's something that is lacking because uh, having that customizability would be nice okay and uh, they, these are the features that they have or, or questions type that they have uh, short text paragraph text uh, email phone number fields multiple choice drop down uh, ratings number date yes no questions website file upload payment that promoter score and a thank you screen okay so for let's say for multiple choice there is uh the there is a, uh, a nice feature right here which is the grid view right so you can have multiple choices horizontally rather than vertically like this okay so different uh, display type uh so only for the slides uh, or conversational forms you can have logic right so you can have it jump from somewhere to somewhere based on certain rules okay uh, but if you were to use the custom you can see that this is being locked out same for the single page right so there's no conditions for that so the next thing is for custom uh, forms what is custom forms right it's basically somewhat similar to a combination of single page and slides questions so uh single page is a vertical style uh form right uh slides is you know one question by one question custom is you can have a combination of multiple questions in the same uh you know same slide itself and this is useful because you can have uh, for example, this one right here, I'm going to change it to start date and end date. So that's easy, right? Because I do have a car insurance uh, client and they wanted a form that was able to do this. But, you know, I looked up uh, block survey. I looked up fluent forms. None of them are able to do this at all. So this is where I think goals and forms is, is uh, a little bit interesting right here. Okay, Last is, lastly will be integration. So integration wise, they have uh, Google Sheets, they have MailChimp, they have Pebbly Connect. So I guess that's already integrated. Uh, Active Campaign, Integromat, Zapier, Custom Webhook, HubSpot, uh, Send in Blue, Slack, Discord. So this is good, right? Having a Discord integration. Uh, Tray, SendGrid, MailerLite, uh, Campaign Monitor, you know, just a bunch of stuff and also vbout as well so those are very very useful uh, integrations and uh, uh, you know how do you want to uh, share your forms or embed your forms right so embed uh, there is a full sort of like a standard they call it uh, where it's you know it covers the entire screen and then you've got a pop-up style and also a slider and a side tab Right, so having a side tab, I think this is nice because not a lot of forms actually have this, right? So you can have a you know leave a feedback kind of uh, form in there. And you can choose the domain that you want, okay, and you know the button color and stuff like that, okay. And then you can just use the uh, WordPress plugin and input the form directly, or you can use. Uh, you know, you can get code and uh, embed the uh, entire form in there. 
okay so you can also share the form so this would be a landing page for the form and uh, okay so because the form is not published yet so it should work right now okay All right so this is the uh, so you, there is two ways and you can also see how it looks like so this is the one with the side tab okay so this is very useful and this is the slider okay this is the pop-up and then this is the standard form right okay so those are the ways and uh, you can share them via QR code as well uh, or your social media and uh, your uh, email and stuff like that you can you can check all the responses summaries uh, and all that in here you can see where they are submitted from right and the devices and you know any trends how long they take to com uh, complete the forms right so i guess pretty much that's all i have to share about uh goals and forms right i think overall um i think overall is is it is um uh, decent they do need to clean it up a little bit add a, uh, a few more features in there and uh, more integrations then i think it is going to be a very very nice form too uh, especially when they have a wordpress plugin uh, i think that helps a lot in getting more visibility right especially if you want a uh, sas based form or a cloud based uh, form that is not hosted on your on your wordpress uh, server itself right so that's all i have to share about rules and forms if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you know anyone who could benefit from this uh you know goals and forms like a uh, type form alternative be sure to share this video with them and lastly let me know what you think about um goals and forms in the comments below i'll see you in my next video bye bye